Hey, what's up everyone? Thanks for tuning in. I've had this really cool bird, this big old bird of prey that's been roaming the skies around my place lately. And I've been catching it a little bit on film. And the other day when I was getting some B-roll of the ridge behind my place with the drone, this bird came swooping out of nowhere. And it was really awesome to see us up close. It ends up being that it's a golden eagle. And it's just been cruising around the place. So I, I followed it at a distance and just got a little, little bit of drone footage of it flying before it since I was there and then ducked out. And it's just really cool to see that. I've also been running across like these crazy little toads that are the time, or lizards that are like the smallest things on the planet. And then just seeing one of the little insects around the property here. So I've been making more progress down in the uh, lower meadow area. I just want to kind of show you what I've been up to lately. Guess who's hiding behind the plywood? There she is. What are you doing, sweetie? How are you, pumpkin? Oh, you're a good girl. Just relax underneath the camper, nice and cool underneath there. You're looking good, baby girl. You want to go on some walks? You want to go walk around? Let's go this way. You want to go this way? Okay. Got the hot tub all almost up to town. Let's check it real quick. I got tons of some salt and essential oil in here, so it makes it a little cloudy. Oh yeah, it's gonna be so nice. We'll hit that later when the storms show up because we got monsoons on the way and should be here in like about an hour. But it's real nice and cool right now. It's like 70, I don't even think it's 70 degrees. And so, so it's real nice weather to work on the area down here. I'm gonna go down and start working on the rock check dams before the rain shows up. But I want to show you the meadow here that's starting to really take hold. Um, the grass in here, I'd say I've probably now about two weeks of not having the juniper trees and it just looks like it's a little bit filling in nothing really major going on I mean a little bit of growth around the trees and stuff and eventually that'll all fill in on the tree bases there but I do like the looks of it I think it looks nice to kind of stand back over here and look out towards the southwest so let's come over here real quick but you know looking out this way it is a it is a cool view kind of looking downhill here so I just want to create that whole meadow and make a big old area with a bunch of green grass and then like three swales that go down with uh, trees lined up behind them and that's where we're going to put in all of our fruit trees so it'll be really great so anyway i'm gonna get working on some stuff here <clears throat> One of the things, one of the mistakes I made out here was completely underestimating how long it takes to clear land. Because, I mean, just to get it looking like this has taken so much effort in like a couple years to get it like this. And uh, yeah, I'm real pleased with how it looks now. But man, the effort to get it to just this spot has been immense. Because I've been doing everything by hand with a small ATV and not using a blade or a brush hog for anything. And I can tell you I'm pretty tired. But I do think it looks cool. I think the way the <clears throat> ground kind of looks is more natural as opposed to having like a blade come in here. I just need to fill this in still over here. So you get this all squared away and then we'll have the trail pretty much done and at its highest point over there it's almost two feet up so that's a lot of terraforming that i did for that slope but overall please i've been making lots of progress here and it's just amazing how much grows back during the monsoon season because like all this is just super lush and i've got some more debris piles i need to burn i've been using this to kind of supplement the fire for the wood fired hot tub that burns real nice i want to get this all cleaned up too and just get it all really dialed in so that way in the fall i can really get all the additional beds put in i want to trim all this back to the pinion pines there so everything's going to be turned back to there and it's going to make just a big big circle up here of a living space and put in a lot more food production so but we got a lot more work to do so this is kind of my dump area where all the cactus stuff and things with prickly stuff is over here and then over there those are all like the bushes that i removed from my property and then past that where the green stuff is is where i'm starting to bring down the juniper trees 
you know, from the, from the, from the, or from the slope over there. And then this is an area, you'll see this on ranches. And I always kind of wondered why people would have these. I'm like, man, why don't they clean that up? But it's an area where you'll store things until you, until you have a, a, a chance to get everything together and go to the dump and make one run. So I do about one run, one run per year. It's essentially it's stuff like, uh, like plastic, you know, cause like the solar panels and stuff that, that, that I get, they come in packaging and that plastic, you know, I don't want it to break down out here. And so what I do is I'll cover it and then um, I, I, I'll bag it all up and then I take it once a year. I did want to show you something. If we dig down in these little creeks here, you come down to soil, it's damp. All this is damp right in here. So it's nice that there's already a bunch of groundwater in here. And it's going to be, I was thinking, I was just walking through here and I was thinking, oh yeah, probably about 12 more rock check dams. It's going to be a lot more than that, probably about 24. Because I started looking at all the different veins that come down here that are going to need to get plugged up. And all the ones that come down from over there as well and drain into this is kind of the main area where it starts to go down and really drop in elevation. That's what I've come up with so far. I want to make it wide enough to where when I come up here, I can walk across this. And that's what I've done. I've reinforced it. And so it's easy to, to walk on here. It's pretty solid. And what's nice is I've got all this rock, all this stuff, all these natural materials right here to be able to complete this. And the goal is, is to get that kind of over to where the quad is and then back over this way, right along here up through that little wash and then connecting with the upward slope there because it, the water will be trapped in here and then really slow it down through here and see what we can do this is going to be good right here though we do have a storm coming right now and uh this one is going to be a really nice rock chuck dam to see how much sediment that we can hold back because that's the whole name of the game here is to hold as much sediment back as possible raise this ground up and then when the water comes through here it spreads out instead of staying in this tiny little channel but as I was showing, when I pull this stuff up, when I pull these rocks up down there, I was showing that there's there's mud underneath here. So the water table underneath here, at least the groundwater, seems to be, you know, right underneath the surface. And if I can slow it down through here, I'm certain I can turn this back into a wetland. So I'm excited for that. And it's gonna, like I said, it's going to be a long process, but I think it's worth it. And if I do really good construction with these rock check dams and make it to where... You know everything in here is really solid and can really stand up to the a lot of water i think we'll be in good shape because this is the main vein that comes through this area right through here so once this really starts to fill up with the storm coming at 2 p.m and it's just about two we can see some clouds coming right there so if that hits then we're going to get footage today of this and i'm really excited to see how this works so i cut these trees down in this area that goes all the way down here a couple of let's see was it about a year and a half ago i started cutting them down and i'm noticing a difference with the plant life that's coming up through here compared to other areas that have more trees that kind of choke out the sunlight and also the access to like groundwater so let's go down here this is kind of i think this is kind of a precursor to what i'm going to have on the front of the property because on the front of the property where i've got the you know the the water catchment that's going to go down in the lower meadow um, that area is already starting to show, you know, really nice green grass growing. And I want to restore that desert grass, that, that tall desert grass that's in this area. But what I've noticed is all these plants now, you know, they can't, they came through last year, but it's just, it's getting like more dense with the ground cover. It's not nearly as sparse. And especially down over here where these juniper trees were, were kind of creating a huge area that it was, it was pretty barren. And as far as like, it would come over. You can kind of see like this outer ring where the soil would be well all this stuff is starting to grow now in the middle of it and right now that's just like you know desert flowers and weeds and things of that nature but it's rejuvenating and you can see it as you look down the slope here and so i feel like that's gonna take hold on the front as well because with all the juniper trees that i'm cutting down and just letting the groundwater really soak in 
to that area because you know those juniper trees take up so much so much water uh then that once that groundwater gets recharged then it can support bigger plants and things like that we can start putting in trees because that's where i want to do the food forest is down over there all right everybody i gotta make a quick run into town so we're gonna end the video a bit early but i'll have another one for you tomorrow so we'll uh, give the patreon shout out here listen to some awesome reggae this is redemption army by dexter and the disciples and i will see you on the next one thanks for tuning in